three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. What's up crew? Uh, today, old school Sunday. I No training today. The schedule is all kinds of wonky because it's the open and I started out with the understanding that we were going to be training on Sundays and this and that and I think originally Neil wanted to do the wads with the classes but rather than be absent for an hour to do his, you know, his attempt at the wad. He wanted to be there as the owner and a coach to make sure everyone was getting what they needed from the gym. So he's doing it on Fridays and Mondays, which means no training on Sunday because we want to make sure we're well rested for the Monday. With that said, we go back to the old school Sunday where, you know, I kind of end up not doing much because who knows why. Sundays are some somewhat lazy unless I go work out with Neil. And today, I ended up editing 17.3 and I am so stoked about that edit. Like, if you couldn't tell by the thumbnail where I said 
uh, damn that edit, whoo, I am so excited about it. Like, that came out so, so good. Like, I couldn't be happier with. What's interesting about that, too, is if, I don't know if you noticed, but Steve, uh, Mr. Schlopes, which I forgot to mention him, damn it. He was the one holding the Ronin. Uh, he has a vlog as well. Link is down below if you don't already follow him. While he was shooting, I'm working out, I noticed that the gimbal was limp, and I've had that happen to me before where I turned too hard or I had it in a weird position and the weight kind of just throws it. I forgot to balance it. I didn't set the, what is that, the, the roll? No, this is the roll, the tilt, pan. Yeah, I didn't set the tilt correctly, so when he was looking up at me at that really awesome angle, uh, it felt too much weight and it just dropped itself. And the rest of the time, uh, he didn't know how to reset it, which you just have to put it back on the stand, turn it off, turn it back on. And he just sort of shot with it and held it and sort of tried to get as much of the footage still as he could and salvage the situation. And while the start to finish video isn't great, the way it came out with the music and editing made it feel like sort of one of those movies where it's really tense, it's really crazy, and you know, you've got that shaky cam situation. I actually thoroughly enjoyed having that element in the video, so I hope you guys did too. But yeah, with that said, today was sort of a rest and recovery day. Uh, finished editing that video and then started cooking dinner. I went grocery shopping, did a little bit of meal prep. I didn't separate it into meals. I hope that I can, you know, effectively eat my breakfast, lunch, snack, and snack, uh, having done what I already did. So I cooked, I cooked some chicken breasts. I have pork chops that need to be cooked tomorrow. Hopefully I'll have some time. And then I have some carne asada, which I'm just gonna pan fry. So since uh, this Sunday was somewhat old school, let's bring it kind of old school. Let's have a motivational Monday. So I wanted to echo something that I said yesterday and that was uh, talking about positive talk. Um, I'm really, really bad at positive talk. Uh, positive talk is so, so important. And here's why I know, even though I don't do good positive talk, I'm really bad at negative talk. So I know that positive talk is probably just as powerful, uh, if not more powerful. So like I said, 17.3 went sort of sideways because in my head, I was thinking I can't do this or I'm gonna pass out or I think you know, I can't hit 185 being so fatigued. And these thoughts slowed me down. These thoughts made me think that it wasn't possible. And even though it's okay to think those things in the moment, it's more important to think of the reward or the positives of what might happen. So what I'm gonna try to do tomorrow morning when I'm doing it with Neil, I think that we're gonna be going at the same time, is I need to think in my head just one, get to the next rep. Just think about the next rep and think about the positives and how, if I finish this quicker, I'm gonna get to that goal that I set and that's hitting at least the 225s or even getting to the 245s. And it's, it's really simple if you really think about it. Like, typically I'm pretty silent in my head unless I am in severe pain. Like, I was definitely struggling yesterday. I felt like I was gonna die. I was breathing super hard. Mentally, I was not even like, feeling like I was coherent. Um, like I said, I didn't realize that all I needed to do was do those four snatches and I would have been in 225 and instead of walking to the bar, I should have ran to the bar. But that's a part of that positive talk. So when I get into that pain moment, you know, the pain cave, I have to stand up and say, I'm gonna hit this next rep and then I'm gonna hit that next rep until I get to where I need to get to. Especially in this type of workout, it's a lift. I am fully capable of hitting all the way up to 265, even when dead exhausted, and I've done it. I snatched 310 the other day when we have the five minute AMRAP and five minute max snatch. Now, I wasn't pushing as hard as I was in the pull-ups uh, from 17.3, so I wasn't as fatigued, but that was 310. So why the heck should I be walking to 185? I should be running to it and getting that first rep done. So tomorrow, I'm gonna hit it, and I'm gonna hit it with the right mentality, and that's what I have for you guys for Motivational Monday, is when you're hitting a workout, you're in competition, or even outside of the gym, when you're doing something that's work-related, family-related, life-related, think of the positives. Be more mindful of what's positive about the situation. This will go light years. I don't even know what I'm trying to say there. This will make everything just that much better, so that's what I have.
And since we're not switching lenses, I'm just gonna move on. Something that's pretty cool that's gonna be happening starting tomorrow, I haven't mentioned this on the vlogs, and I think I wanted to wait until it was real real, and that's, I'm gonna start coaching at Extreme, which is pretty exciting because I joined Extreme thinking it might be a possibility. So he's giving me the opportunity to coach at Extreme. So I'm gonna start shadowing tomorrow. I'm gonna shadow Tracy in the morning and Ray at night, and hopefully start coaching in April, I guess part-time, you would call it, or f as a full-time coach, not a in intern. Um, but I'm super, super stoked. Like, I've been wanting to coach for a while now, and Neil is gonna be making it to where I'm most likely gonna be coaching in the mornings, so that immediately after coaching, I will train with him, come home, nap Dylan, train again, and then I'm done. Uh, he probably won't need me for the evening times, but I might be open for some of them. But anyways, that's enough information for you guys. I think that's good. I think that's today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're new, subscribe. If you're not new, hit the like button, leave a comment, share this video. Let's do all the things that help this crew grow. I think we're, we're definitely doing it because I see new crew members joining every day and that just excites me so much. And remember, what your mind can perceive and believe, you can achieve. That's from my grandpa Chuck. Bless you.